All right, hey guys. Um, today I'm gonna show you how to uh, edit the intros into your like um, videos because I've been have been having a lot of questions about this. So first, we need the actual intro and to to like use that as an example. I'll use like one of the templates. Well, not templates. Like one of the actual downloads. So like uh, I'll show you. Well, I I also said I'll like render the um intro to like show a video on it but that'll be a later date so let's try um let's try this person so we we'll click the download rank right because as well like uh right there when I, I'm, I'm done making the intro i write uh right here done downloading is in the description and this is where i put it the downloading and if you click it well you can have often to um play it but you can click download and then click the download button and there's a save so click OK. OK. Now I'm on Windows 8 because I can't afford Macs. Like the only Mac I can afford from McDonald's. That's why. And if you go to your search bar, Windows 7 or 8, you type in movie and this program should be automatically installed. Like it comes in every um, every computer that's Windows. So you got the program open. Now, go to, well, up here is your downloads for Mozilla. Google Chrome will be on your bottom left, unless they change it for an update. So right click, open contain folder, which will be in your downloads, which is right here. Um, and then you would go to movie and then go to your downloads folder, which is here. Drag your intro inside here. And we have an intro. Click play. It works. A bit loud though, but is there a way to adjust it? Maybe this is why I don't use um, the Windows Movie Maker, right? Because it's free, all like installed. Visual effects. Oh, you can add visual effects. Um, I'll just play around with the program. Start point, split, zoom in. Yeah, this is why I don't use it because you can't change the audio, right? Because this could be too loud or too low. Anyways, um, now you select a, a um, folder, no, a, a movie clip, right? So this would be generally found in, well, my movie clip is found right here, my Fraps folder, right? It's it, it like puts all the movie there. So if I like, get a movie clip, let's say this one, drag and drop. It says movie makers preparing to file. Oh no. Uh, let's stop that one. Stop preparing. Oh, that that's gonna be take too long to repair. Um, how about? Okay, let's let's just try this one. This is like two gigabytes. Drag it. It's preparing. Okay, so we'll wait until like the actual stuff prepares. But can we adjust? Oh look, why is there sound? So once oh look it's done. Okay, so you can like, drag the intro to the start. Um. Well, it, it seems to right, but the, uh, the great thing is your sound, so you click play. Scary line. Boom! 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 Jesus, he's saying still. <gasps> I'm so dead. I'm so this? dead. Oh, I'm, I'm so dead. And as you see, the video plays, so you have your actual music. But it seems like the intro is loud, though. I, I don't know. It could be an option. Is I'm not seeing it. You edit, fade in, music, video volume. Is that it? Okay, let's let's play again. Huh, I think it it worked. Yeah, you see right there. Okay, so video volume. Oh, okay, that's a very cool feature. Is I don't use. Uh, um, movie Maker, I use um, Adobe After Effects just because you can do additional features to it. So you just play around with the volume and make it like professional as you can. Like, have the sound as like adjusted as you can. Let's do that. Um, 
Uh, for time's sake, I'm gonna like cut the video for a bit. Uh, where is it? Oh, here you go. You right click on the <laughs> the video clip. Click split. There you go. I think split now. Click this video. Can we click it? Can we press delete? Yes. There we go. Okay. So once your like stuff is finished, actually, this is good. Let's play again. It seems a bit loud though, so let's go to like... Edit volume, lower, this is what that do. Uh, it's a bit loud still, like, it takes a bit of time to edit your video, so... That, that's the joy of editing, right? Because you, you want to, like, spend time on it, make it uh, good quality as you can. So once you're happy with it, click File, Save Movie, um... There could be stuff, like, if you just go down, there's all this stuff, SkyDrive, Facebook, YouTube, I want... Is it YouTube? YouTube is... That file, I can save as YouTube, but you can also save it as, I guess, high definition. Like, high definition, it says 1080p. That's like the highest pixel for YouTube. So I guess you can save as YouTube. What does that do? Oh, it says your movie. Um, where, where will this go? I'll save it on my desktop. Save it as example. Click save. And we wait until the movie publishes. Okay, so once your movie is yeah, you can have an option to play in or open folder. Or let's open the folder. And you see right here, example four, double click it. You have your movie done. Okay, the intro plays. Now. Yeah, and your video plays. Okay, so then you're ready to upload. So now that your intro is like all rendered, you go to like um, your upload button on YouTube and you just drag and drop. I think you know how to do this. If you haven't got this far then I don't know what 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 you're doing right now. Okay, um let's put this on listed because we don't want people to see this. Like click save just in case that people don't do this, okay, and then all his name is blah. Click save. Is it save? Yeah, it's saved. Um, what else? That's pretty quick. Yeah, it's a small file. That's why uh, the smaller file, right? Because I wish we start with like two gigabytes with the uh, the file, and then example is 11 megabytes, which is a smaller file. So I think it will be done in about three seconds, two, and then one. Is it processing? Processing, you're really, really live. Can't click it. Is it processing still? Yeah, still processing. Yes. Oh, look, it's already done processing. Cool. And there we go. You have your. Oh, look, there's no like black borders either. It's pretty convenient. And the quality is terrible because I have a very slow internet. That's why it's like that. And there, there's your video, see? It was less, less blackboard, but I guess you can start off with that. I think more editors, like... I don't know, like, try out other editors that may take out the blackboarders. Because I don't, there could be an option in Windows Movie Maker, but give it a try. So, I guess that's all. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.